our traditional game we call stickball. It's our most ancient sport. The origin of this game is beyond what we know. Best way we could say is it comes far from beyond the sunrise. A lot of people want to play the game. Everyone enjoys the game, but not everyone knows how the sticks are made or what the meaning of the game is. They just know that it's fun and it belongs to them. In our tribe, we still play the game today here where we live in Oklahoma. And so I'm a stick maker. That's what I do. It's an expression of me. The sticks that we use are made of hickory. You have to be very selective when you select a tree to make ball sticks. We're not really killing the tree. We're giving it a new life. Through our traditional way, we select that tree and, and we give thanks for that tree. And we even leave a gift there to the Creator for providing that tree for us. It's something very special to us. The men that taught me how to make sticks have all passed away. I feel I have a duty to continue and perpetuate what they had done. The only way I can remember the things that they taught me is to continue making sticks. It's a very important part of our community. It comes from our tribal towns, what today we call stomp ground, ceremonial ground. And we define ourselves through our activities, through our language, through our dance and our song. We have ball games to bring our people together, to become acquainted with each other after a long winter. We get back together in the spring when it's time to plant corn. It's time to light our ceremonial fire and start dancing again. Not everyone can be a stick maker, but if I can teach a few guys, four, five, six guys, by the end of my time, then I feel that I've done a good job of it. The way our traditional Elders would tell us this, that you got to carry on no matter what is going on in your life or how difficult of a time you may be having, we have to carry on. I think that I've made so many now that there is a, uh, some identifiable traits to my sticks. It's mostly going to be in the cup because anybody can make a, a handle, you know, but the, the cup is, is what really defines the stick. Is it a good shape? Is it a good size? Has it got the right depth to it? Is it thick enough to stand up to the abuse that is going to be inflicted on that stick playing ball? The ball games are a very important part of our annual cycle as a people, all the way back to prehistoric time, ancient times, back to the beginning of our time. This is the way it's been handed down. I feel that it's my responsibility. My tribe has felt also that it is important. They have felt that it's so important that they have designated me as a living treasure. A Cherokee National living treasure for the art of stick making.